Hi, my name is Greg Orr. I'm also known as Dr. Go. We're going to take a look at getting started with the Windows 10 operating system. Since most of us are upgrading from Windows 7, we're going to take a look at what it takes to do that as easily as possible. You can see behind me there's a computer running on Windows 7 and another one running on Windows 10. Now these are both great operating systems, but they have a lot of differences. Before we start looking at those differences, let's look at some of the similarities. If you click the Windows 7 Start button, you'll see the Start menu, including your pinned applications and most recently used applications. You can click All Programs to access all of your applications. Below that, you can search for programs and files. On the right side, you can view some default folders, the control panel, and the run command. The Start button for Windows 10 does a few more things. When you click on it, you get a list of your most used applications and a list of your recently added apps. You can open Settings, select Power to shut down, restart, or put it to sleep, and you can select All Apps to see a list of all your applications. That's about all the similarities. From there, the Windows 10 button starts to look a lot different. For instance, Windows 7 allowed you to pin your favorite applications to the Start menu. Windows 10 lets you pin them to what they call Live Tiles. You can see all these tiles on the right that open applications. Let's say I want to pin Audacity to my tiles. I right-click on Audacity from the list and select Pin to Start, and it shows up in my tiles. To remove it, right-click on the tile and select Unpin from Start, and the tile will go away. You can also drag an application from the list over to your tiles, and then you can move tiles around to whatever arrangement suits your work needs. If you right-click the Start button, you open a list of management options, including your Task Manager and Control Panel. By right-clicking on an open application, you have the option to close it or pin it to the taskbar so it can be available from there. On the right side, you have information about your connection, power, sound, date, time, etc. You can click that little up arrow to open some of the hidden tools. Similar to Windows 7, Search helps you find programs and files. You can type the name of an application or file and select from the list that displays. For security reasons, our agencies don't use the Cortana search feature. Have you used the control panel in Windows 7? Windows 10 still lets you access the control panel, but they're introducing a new feature called Settings. If you're looking for something in the control panel but can't find it, try Settings. In fact, you might want to try Settings first because it's got a great search function. Let's say you want to look for Wi-Fi settings. You can type in Wi-Fi or Wireless and a list of options appears. We've seen that Windows 10 works a lot in the same way as older Windows operating systems. If you're using a tablet or a touchscreen laptop with Windows 10, you'll find that it's a lot friendlier system for mobile computing. There's a second video in this series that addresses Windows 10 for touchscreens. If you have a Windows 10 tablet or laptop, you'll want to watch this video as well. More resources are available on your agency intranet. Just search for Windows 10 to find job aids for a lot of the things you'll want to do with this new operating system. Some agencies have Windows 10 training resources stored on your computer hard drive, such as under Tech Info, so you can access them while offline. Well, that should get you started with Windows 10. This is Dr. Go wishing you aloha. Whoops, still working on that one. <laughs>